What is going on, brothers and sisters of YouTube? I pray that all is well with you guys. Um, and first of all, may the joy of the Lord be our strength, okay? I want to talk to you guys merely about, you know, the subliminals behind a lot of platforms that are being used from uh, people nowadays. You know what I mean? Um, these are good platforms, especially to either reach the gospel, reach a certain audience to uh, motivate them, better their lives and everything like that. But, but it can also hinder you you know, to an extent where you're focused more on these platforms and your actual life goals, right? So I want to talk to you merely about that and the um, the agenda behind a lot of these platforms, okay? So let's go and start with Instagram, okay? So Instagram, when we think of Instagram, we think of, uh, you know, people that, are, that have a lot of pictures, you know, a lot of uh, followers on Instagram and Instagram famous, so on and so forth. But I want you to actually look at the word Instagram, right? When we think of Instagram, look at the first, first four letters. It's Insta. Insta correlates to instant. Instant correlates to instant gratification. What are you training for? You are training the mind for instant gratification when you are consistently going on the Instagram because it's so easy for you to, to go on Instagram, okay, and search up somebody that's in Brazil. Search up somebody uh, that you may know. You know, back in the 90s, you'd have to pick up a phone and talk to them. Hey, back in the 90s, you didn't have all these social media platforms. You know what I mean? Next, I want to talk about television, right? Television, just same thing as the thumbnail, bro. When you think of television, look in between the lines of television. It's to tell live vision. Um, when you think of a vision, you know, have a vision for your goal, have a vision for your, you know, your platform and everything like that. Having a vision is very powerful. But think about this. When you're putting the wrong visions inside of your brain, that will correlate out of you. You know what I mean? If you put, you know, whatever that goes in must come out. You know, just same thing with food. When you eat something negative, such as some spicy food or some food that's not good for your system, when you actually release that out of you, it, it either hurts, you get constipated, or you know it just it doesn't feel good coming out. You know what I mean? But if you were to put vegetables inside of you, fruits inside of you, uh, drinking nothing but water inside of you, it releases a lot easier than if you were to put something negative inside of you. Same thing with television, guys. When you look at the news, when we look at TV. You know, there's a reason why it says tell live vision. You know what I mean? Um, it's due to the fact that some of the things that are going on in the news is really not real. It's not real. It's to, it's to create a false vision for your mind to think that, you know, these things are actually going on in the world and to walk around with fear. You know, it says in the Bible, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and of sound mind. Right? And we must come to a realization for that. Next, I want to talk about TikTok. TikTok is a great platform, man. You know, first of all, for entertainment. Um, sometimes I, I'll go in there a little bit as well. Um, you know, I like some of the videos. Of course, some of the videos may be a little bit, you know, inappropriate for some kids or especially when you're, you know, in, in Christ, it can be a little bit inappropriate. But I just want you to realize this. Think of TikTok. It's right there in front of you. TikTok, TikTok. Think about that. Think of a clock. You know, a clock is ticking. Tick, tock, tick, tock. What are you doing? You are wasting time, right? Now we're going to go to Apple. Right, this is not the apple that you actually uh, bite into. Well, I'm gonna get into that story a little bit later, but I'm telling you right now, when you think of Apple and it's bitten in the iPhone case, what story comes up to mind? Adam and Eve. You see how this is already a subliminal affirmation. And so what happened was God told Adam, or you can eat every other tree, but be sure not to eat the tree of the knowledge, for you shall surely die. And guess what happened? The serpent, the craftiest of God's creation, tells him otherwise, you will certainly not die. He says, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So what happens? Eve sees that and hears that. And then when she sees the apple, it says that, she, that she's pleased to the eye. You know, it's pleasing to the eye of her. So she took a bite of it and gave it to Adam as well. So they both eat it. Causing the whole world to sin. And I'm going to go to the last one. I'm going to go to Hollywood. The Hollywood swing, right? When we think of Hollywood, we think of all, where these you know, big actors are and these big names are at. And where you want to move to to become famous. But when you actually look in the word Holly, Hollywood, we have Holly. What is Holly? The original Holly is from a Holly tree. And the Holly tree is one of the sacred trees of witchcraft and was one of the old favorite trees of the ancient Druids. Uh oh, that has to say something. Holly tree is one of the sacred 
trees of witchcraft. We have to think about that, okay? So we must be very careful and cognizant of the fact that Hollywood isn't really what it seems like. From the outside in, it seems like you're living the, the best life, but we just don't know what's going on on the inside of what's going on. <laughs> the inside of what's going on, okay? But look, man, brothers and sisters, I hope you guys get a, you know, maybe a little bit of, a, of an awakening uh, from this on the fact that there's already subliminals inside of the, uh, inside of all these programs, inside of all these things that we use, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So all I'm saying is, you know, you don't have to fully get out of Instagram, TV, you know, all these different platforms, but use it for the, for the best of your ability. Use it to better yourself. Maybe use it for education. Use it for, uh, for bettering yourself for your business, getting clients, so on and so forth. Um, you can also use it for entertainment. Again, being very cognizant of your time. You know, it says in the Bible, make the best use of the time for the days are evil. So it must be very cognizant, cognizant of that. So if you guys are struggling with the phone addiction, I know that a lot of millennials may be struggling with this. I just want to come to you guys in prayer. Um, the Lord will set you free from this, man. All you have to do is have faith in the Lord and he will set you free and um, just give you clarification, man. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I know that you're trying to do your best to you know, go, go on a dopamine fast, but it's still not working. You can be set free from the Lord, man. Okay, so I want to you know, bow your heads and close your eyes. Oh God, we come to you in prayer to say thank you for everything you've done. We pray that you set the listener free from this iPhone addiction, from this Instagram addiction, from social media addiction, Lord God. We pray that you set them free from this. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you um, are not set free from the first prayer, I would suggest you know listening to it on multiple occasions. There's also YouTube videos discussing um, uh, to get set free from this. You know, prayers to get set free. All you have to do is agree. You know, uh, agree on the prayer, and you will be set free. Uh, if you are still struggling with this, even after multiple, multiple prayers, um, I would suggest you guys go on a fast and praying. You know, fast and pray for Christians. Uh, fasting praying is is a uh, Almost like a normal what we what we're called to do, you know. It says in the Bible, not you know if we fast and pray, but when we fast and pray. So, fasting and praying will definitely release some uh, some things and some things that you probably won't ever get off unless you fast and pray. Okay, but look, brothers and sisters. I hope you guys have a blessed one and you guys take care. Peace.